I'm feeling a little risky today because I have my period and I'm wearing white pants. I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, I am going to be making a sweater, which I am so excited about. I have not started a new project in knitting in a really long time because I've been working on this one pair of pants with these itty bitty needles and it's been like a month and I'm still not done. Like I'm getting there, I'm done one leg, but the other leg, not, not really there yet. I just need to start a new project. So we're gonna be making this sweater right here today. It is by Laura Delgarde and I got it from a course I'm currently taking all about intarsia and how to, you know, use multiple colors when you're knitting, you know, you, you get it? And I've already started, well, not the sweater, but I got my swatch here. I hit gauge. I'm ready to actually cast on my sweater. I have my yarns here, which I did get a little crazy last weekend, and I spent the whole week in hand dyeing yarns just because I wasn't able to really find colors that I actually really liked in this yarn that I'm gonna be using. So I ended up buying a whole bunch of the white yarn and just hand dyeing it colors that I actually liked. And I just really enjoyed it. So I ended up spending two full days and dyeing yarn and now I have like five billion balls of yarn colors I like. But that's enough story time, so let's get started with the sweater. So the pattern does call for chunkier needles, which you know are my favorite because you, you can finish things a lot faster. So hopefully that's on my side when it comes to finishing this relatively fast. Relatively, that's a new word. So I decided after like debating with myself for 45 minutes that I'm gonna go with size medium large because I want it to be more of a relaxed fit. And the sizes just go by extra small, slash small, and then medium, large, and then so on. So I'm done casting on this color. So now I'm gonna do this color. And it actually looks a lot more complicated when you're doing two different colors for cast on. I thought, I don't know, you had to do some magic or something, but no, you just cast on one color and go to the next color and then cast on that color. I don't know why I thought it was so much harder. The only thing with intarsia is that you're constantly wrapping the yarns around each other to connect the two colors. So like at this point, I gotta loop them together, otherwise they're gonna be two separate pieces. So I have to twist these like that so they stay together, but that means all my yarn gets twisted. So it's definitely very messy. It's very messy in Tarsia. So I am done the ribbing. So next step with the sweater, I just have to follow a color chart for the rest of the body. So I think I'm gonna print it out just because I feel like I wanna go places to actually knit the sweater, I'm like maybe in my car or I don't know. I just don't wanna bring my computer around. So I'm gonna print it out just so I can like mark off the rows too. Otherwise it might get really confusing. If you're thinking about getting into knitting, you've maybe done one project and you're like, oh, this is pretty fun. I like it. I would 100% recommend getting an interchangeable, inter, interchangeable. It is just so handy when, you know, you do the ribbing and then you have to change it to a different size for the body and you just take it off and put the new needle on there. It is so handy and I also find it's a lot cheaper to do it this way to get the whole set just because needles especially circular ones can get really pricey when you're buying them individually whereas buying a whole set it's just it's better in the long run new needles are on now I can start the body so we're just going to take a quick break from the video because today's video it is sponsored by Pila if you haven't heard of Pila, Pila is this amazing company here in Canada and they create these compostable phone cases. All of these are made from plants, 
They are super soft to touch and they also have a military grade protection. On my phone right now, I have this booby case, but I also have this pretty pink flower case and a cow print one. Pila has been a long-term sponsor on my channel and I haven't shown you guys proof that these cases can actually decompose. So today we're gonna be putting it to the test. We're gonna be using my Lomi, which was created also by Pila and it's a kitchen composter. We're gonna be throwing this case in there and seeing how it breaks down. So here is my Lomi and this is what she makes with my food scraps. And right here, I just have some food scraps I'm gonna dump in here. I'm also gonna throw in the Pila case but we'll check back on her tomorrow and see what she looks like. So my Lomi finished last night, and this is what the phone case looks like now. If you guys wanna get your own Pila case, I have a coupon code for you all. So the first 50 people that use my coupon code, Jenna at checkout will get 40% off, and then 51 on, 20% off. I already realized my first mistake, and I haven't even started the body yet, and it's with the ribbing. I'm looking at the chart here and it's telling me that this is supposed to be the front of the ribbing and I twisted the, the yarn on the wrong side when I was connecting them. It's not that big of a deal because this can just be the back piece so I can just work on the back panel, but yeah, I, I gotta figure that out for the next time to actually twist it on the side. You're supposed to twist it. This sweater is really getting me excited about color work in knitting, which I didn't even think was a possibility. I, I just always stuck to stripes and just solid colors, but now I'm getting really excited about this. This is really fun, this sweater. It's looking so good so far. And it feels really soft, that's another thing. You know, when something feels nice and it's looking good, <clears throat> perfect combination. So I am going to stop knitting right now and quickly go to the mountain and go skiing. Okay? I'll be back. I'll be back because I'm, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to work on it again when I get back tonight. But for now, going cross-country skiing. So I wish I could say I'm pretty far along because I knitted all the way in the car, all the way to the mountain. But mistake number four, which I already took apart half the sweater because I forgot or I just didn't really realize in the pattern chart that over here on this side there starts to be like a dip of white and I was only focusing on this center connection so I was missing a, a whole bunch of white here so I had to take apart like eight or ten rows which is not that big of a deal but Got restart again. I think that was mistake number four, right? I'm assuming by the end of this video, there'll be like 58 mistakes. So last night, I ended up staying up to, I think, 12 working on this and I made progress. I made progress, I got the little swoop. I made some progress. I wish I could say I made more progress, but I'm almost halfway done the back panel. I'm not that far along. So that is why I woke up super early this morning and I am just going to knit for the majority of the day and just see how much I can get done. I really want to get both of the panels done, so the front panel and the back panel done, and then tomorrow just finish the sleeves. I'm hoping. at my sweater. Just take a second and really look at the sweater. It looks professional with a capital P. But here is the back panel. <laughs> Doesn't it look so good? <sighs> I'm 
I'm so excited. And then here is what I have of the, of the front panel so far. Not very much. So for mistake number eight. This by far is my biggest mistake so far and I'm actually, um, yeah, quite impressed with myself that it took me this long to figure out that I made a real big mistake. And it wasn't until I was going to change the needle late, like I was supposed to change the needle when I finished the ribbing, but I forgot. But then I was like, it's okay, I'll just change it, you know, after a few rows, it won't be that big of a deal. And then I realized I had the wrong needle in the whole time, <laughs> which means this is too big now because I used the wrong needle. So this, um, this needs to come apart, the whole thing. So before I unravel my, my sweater that I just spent two hours working on, I had to change my outfit. Can you hear the coffee in the background? So good news, I am back to where I started when I took apart, you know, the whole sweater this morning. It's definitely looking a lot better and I'm very, very happy I took it apart even though it was a pain and kind of a waste of like two hours of my life, but it's okay, cause it'll be worth it. It's just, it's a lot better. So once again, I overestimated my abilities to be able to knit fast because it's Monday and I don't have a finished sweater. I have a back piece and a front piece and no arms. But anyways, I'm gonna start the day off by sewing these two pieces together. I'm actually impressed with how perfect this fits. Look at this. I do have a sweater underneath, but it's, it's cozy. It's very cozy. So recently I purchased a short needle kit. They're just shorter needles. So I can do all the sleeves in the round. And this is the first time I get to use them. So I'm pretty pumped to take them for a spin. Anyways, while I pick up all these stitches, I do have some very exciting news to share with you all because I've been listening to the Harry Potter books because I have never read them before. I have been listening to them on my library app where I've been renting the audiobooks and I figured out how to get it on my computer. So I just finished the sleeve and I just feel like it looks like a baby sleeve compared to the body here just because the body is so relaxed fitting on me and then this is more fitted. I I don't know how I feel about it so I might redo it later. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I just have to do the collar and then it'll look better but I don't know. So today is actually, actually, actually the day I'm going to finish my sweater because I finished the collar last night and then I woke up super early this morning and started on the sleeve. And I decided to change up the color. Originally I was going to go with the purple sleeve, but after just seeing the sweater, I'm just feeling this blue color now. I just feel like it matches more. So I'm gonna do the whole sleeve in blue. And then I, you know, we gotta do the boring stuff of actually, you know, finishing off all these like danglers here. You're so queasy. Mm. Oh, nice one. 
Benson is here with me today. He is gonna help me finish my sweater, right? <clears throat> Sorry, oh, we're both gassy. So I'm almost done the sleeve and it's not even lunchtime now, so I don't, I don't know what I was doing yesterday, but it's actually really quick to do these sleeves. I don't know why it took me so long yesterday. So for the ribbing of my sleeve, I ended up adding a whole bigger cable to it and I also switched my needles to littler ones. Don't wanna mess that up again. Because I'm gonna do the magic loop method for the ribbing here. Because it's too tiny, I don't have needles and cables that are that small, so I'm switching it up. Switching it up. So my sweater is all knit up, so last step before I can show you guys is just get rid of all these danglers here. So that will take me a couple minutes and then I'm gonna show you guys all, oh my knee's itchy. Oh, that's better. The finished sweater. Okay. I am done my sweater now. I have it on. It took me like 45 minutes to actually like weave in all the ends, but it's done now. It's, it's done. So here it is. Ta-da. Ta-da. Here's my sweater. Do you guys like it? Because I, I really like it. It's really cozy. It's really be like Jenna like I love the little wave here I love the color it just I love it definitely was worth the wait even though I thought this was gonna be a lot quicker than it was it wasn't it took me five days to do well not like five complete days like you probably could bust this out in two to three days if you were like and you didn't make any mistakes like I did <laughs> I have to redo things so many times yeah I guess that's why it took a long time cuz I kept messing up I had like 25 mistakes. That is it. If you guys want to take the course by Laura Delgarde and make the sweater, it comes with the pattern that I use. And then it also has like step-by-step -step on how to make this sweater in the course. I'll link it down below. Also have a 10% off gift coupon. 10% off coupon for you guys. Cause the course was gifted to me by Domestica. But that's it. That's it. I really enjoyed the course. It was a really good one. So, if you wanted my thoughts, I don't know if you did, but yeah, that's my thoughts. I really liked it. That's it. So, I'm gonna go. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!